Hi Aries, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading, and this is a love reading, Aries. And this is their real desires, right? Yeah, we're trying to find out exactly uh, what they want and what they are doing and thinking and feeling, all that stuff, all right? Yes, we are. We want to know how many beers they had the other night. <laughs> Hope you guys are all well. And Aries, please know that these are general readings and that they may or may not resonate, right? And that's just how it is because these are general tarot readings, okay? And please know these energies could be like yours or your person's and yeah, and they could be vice versa, okay? So let's get into the vice versa reading here, okay? <laughs> let's see what we got for Aries in love. And we have the ship, the heart, the man. The snake, yikes, the time, or the clock, rather, and the woman. So we know off the bat, I mean, this is the easiest card to read, right? Is the snake is about deception, okay? Yes, no, it is not about, uh, what is it called? The uh, world of the uh, animal kingdom. No, it is not, okay? <laughs> so I feel like what's going on here, though, is that there is some deception. Somebody's in love here. Somebody is in love, and there is deception right next to the man, and somebody could be in love with somebody at a distance when we see the ship, but this could also be, uh, maybe it's a long journey to get to this person, uh, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, in terms of miles, it could be maybe, maybe a lot of things have to be done to kind of like, you know, uh, cross the journey, or make the journey rather. <clears throat> and there could be somebody from the past, or there could be some type of uh, like, timeline that needs to be met right and the woman is here in the reading as well and yeah okay let's see what that is about so i'm going to move these cards over here aries and well i may refer to those let's see how what energy you are in aries right now you have the seven of cups the hangman the ace of pentacles your person here is the three of wands crossing them is the ace of wands Wow. Okay, so let's see what your person has here, or you have first. Let's see, Aries, you are in the Seven of Cups. You could be trying to make a choice. You could have lots of choices, maybe. Why is that Seven of Cups there? And this can talk about confusion, right? Because usually there are too many options, too many choices. Nine of Wands and Ten of Cups. Wow. You could be confused here about uh, maybe what union you want, because you have options. Hangman is crossing you. Why is the hangman there for Aries? Yeah, this is kind of more confusion than hangman typically it is. Unless there is a Piscean, Three of Cups. I feel like you're confused here, and you're trying to, like, you're stuck here. If you're going to, like, walk a new path here, maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be a new path, but maybe, usually it is, and maybe reunite with somebody or go with a third party. Remember, the snake is here. Yeah, the snake is here. So that could be a third party. Yeah, I feel like there's three little snakes uh, with this uh, snake, the serpent, whatever. But I wonder what they call baby snakes. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. Uh, yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles is why it's all happening for you, Aries. Why is that Ace of Pentacles there? <clears throat> Nine of Cups. Queen of Swords. I feel like why it's all happening, you're trying to discern if you want a new beginning with somebody, that's what you're trying to do. You could be trying to discern, like, between two. It's a possibility. <clears throat> and you could just be trying to figure out if you want to return to somebody, right? Or, yeah, if you want to reunite with somebody, you could just be trying to figure out one situation here. But when the snake shows up, it doesn't look like that, right? Unless you're trying to, unless you're just thinking about one person, one union, but maybe you uh, kind of want to fool them in some way. <laughs> but it usually doesn't show up like that, right? And let's see what you are discerning. Why is that Queen of Swords there for Aries, please? Maybe there is an air sign. No, there isn't. Uh, pretty sure there is an earth sign here for you, Aries, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel like you are discerning a new beginning. Yes, with a... With an earth sign, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. 
And there could be third party energy here, right? Of course, I was just saying that with the snake and the three of three of cups here. I feel like you're confused about a choice here. Maybe about whether to take action towards somebody or stay in a family dynamic. Mm hmm Knight of Cups. I mean Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. Why does Aries have the Knight of Pentacles? Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is you. This is usually kind of uh, <clears throat> releasing yourself from this discernment. You could have been maybe really up in your head about it. And sometimes this is just like kind of wanting to do that. The Four of Pentacles is in your desire. Why does... Sorry about that, guys. Why does Aries have the Four of Pentacles? Two of Cups. And the World card is here, and this is what you really want. Yeah, let's see here. I feel like you want to hold on to somebody here. Yeah, and you want an ending and a new beginning. I feel like you want to start fresh with somebody. But there could be somebody else here who is like maybe blocking you or that you have to consider. You might have to consider a family here when the Ten of Cups shows up. Yeah. Let's get one more card on the world, please. Star card. This is what you want to heal it with somebody. Nine of Wands in the reverse. You could be maybe wanting to give up on one thing and heal it with somebody else. I feel like that's what you want to do, but you're confused here. Mm -hmm. About whether or not you're really going to do it. You probably know that you have to be really deceptive here to kind of, or you will be like, you'll, you'll be really deceptive, right? You will be deceptive, right? <laughs> when you move toward this other person, because there's somebody else I feel like who was at home or waiting in the wings or something like that. Your person is the Three of Wands. Why does Aries person have the Three of Wands? The Lovers. Four of four of Cups. Your person could just feel like they're in a third party here. They could be turning their back on you, maybe. They could be. This could be this can be a few things. This could be waiting. Three of Wands is sometimes waiting for your ships to come. Like waiting for a new beginning. Maybe they are. Maybe they're waiting for you and they're totally disappointed because you're over there in uh, decision mode here. Confusion. Mm -hmm. Choices. You're like living in the land of choices. The land of the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. Let's get a card on your person. Why does your person have the Four of Cups, please? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like your person is super disappointed here because they think you're going to turn your back on them and put the work in with somebody else. And they can feel like they've like already invested so much in you. That could be the case here. And now you could be making a choice. You could be making a choice to turn your back on them or to go off with a third party. Because you look like you are trying to discern here whether or not you can have a new beginning with the King of Pentacles. I mean with the Knight of Pentacles. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if they are the King or the Knight. No, it doesn't. Only in the UK. Okay, where uh, Megan and what's her what's his name? Harry are leaving because they weren't really nice to her. No, they were not. And he's a nice guy, and they're probably all a bunch of stuffy Brits, right? <laughs> OMG, dude. I feel like that's totally the case. I'm sure he's not going to come out to the world and say that. He's moving. They're moving all the way to Canada. They, they can't get far enough away from them, seriously. They're like, wow, we need to get the hell out of here. Yes, we do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I feel like your person, they could be turning their back on you, maybe. Why do they have the Eight of Pentacles? Why does Aries person have the Eight of Pentacles? Got a jumper here, Ten of Wands. See, they're just carrying a burden here. I don't really think they're leaving. I think they're just carrying a burden here because you are like, you could be, like, you could be in a third party here. 
Or they could be thinking that you're going to turn their back on them to go invest in somebody else, right? You could be dealing with somebody who's super loyal, right? And who has, you know, put all the work in with you. This could be over maybe years, right? Maybe they, you know, bore your kids and cleaned your house and made your meals and washed your clothes. And now you could be going, wow, uh, so-and-so is over there looking really fine. <laughs> It could be that simple for some. Seriously, it's really bad, right? <laughs> Let's see why your person has the Ace of Wands challenging or crossing them. Why is it there? The Fool card. Seven of Wands. This is your what's your pop crossing your person. They're super. Excuse me, guys. They are super overwhelmed here. Yeah, because you're 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 thinking about taking a leap of faith on somebody, and the Ace of Wands is in the reverse because it is like it is about to happen, or it is like you are trying to decide here whether or not you're going to do it. It's not real yet. It could be like a delay or not happening yet. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like in the future. Page of Pentacles is the reason why for them. Why do they have the Page of Pentacles? This is why it's all happening for them. And the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So they feel like you are leaving them out here. Or they feel like you will. You are leaving, you're going to leave them out for somebody, and it's going to create a hell of a lot of regret for them and sad grieving. For them, it's grieving. You could be doing this now. You could be entertaining this option over here. Who could be a Knight of Pentacles? But I feel like you are kind of stuck. This could be your person stuck over here about you, right? Challenging you or crossing you about you walking a new path with a third party. Because definitely you want a new, you want like, you want to hold on to somebody and you want to end the cycle and begin, in, begin a new one. And ending the cycle is leaving this other person out and they know that. They want the Ace of Cups. It's in the reverse. Poor thing. <laughs> Why do they want the Ace of Cups? Why would they want it in the reverse? And this can go either way, of course, right? Because they just said that. They're general readings, right? Somebody's doing this to somebody. Not really sure exactly, but I feel like Aries, you are the person who has this other person. Or wants another person. They want to cut it out. Knight of Swords. High Priestess. They want to cut the secret out. Yeah, it's putting their union in the reverse, and we're going to find out all about your person here. And yes, we are. We're going over the tell-all on Vimeo, and we're going to find out the underlying energies and crown, what is crowning their thoughts, right? And also how they really feel about you, Aries. Mm -hmm. And the block, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and what they really want on Vimeo, you guys. All the extendeds are super affordable. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And the best way is to get your own reading. Thank you so much, guys.